and I'm actually using jQuery to find the event target and getting the index off of it. Index is not a JavaScript function. You actually have to use jQuery in order to do it. So I'm just passing jQuery the object that I clicked on. So now if I were to go over here and find my active class, and I'm just searching by class right now rather than ID or, or anything like that. And you can actually just search by um, an object type. So if I wanted to just search for every single list item I had on my page, I just put in li rather than uh, specifying a class. Dot remove class. And I'm just removing the class that is on whatever item is active. And then opening event dot target really I should have created a, a variable for that um, dot add class active and any whatever I click on it's going to get set to active and then my description div class I'm going to hide all of them so that way it doesn't matter which one's showing I want to hide them all and then e actually better way of doing this would be to visible so that there's a visible filter type so you, anything that's showing I want to hide it so I'm not hiding every single one and then EQ which is you just getting the the um, uh, your equal EQ you're getting the object at a particular point in the array so your first object if you, if you put in zero you're getting the first object in that array uh, one you're getting the second three so it's, it works just like a regular array, an array would Oops, show I'm gonna save it and this should be it for our stuff so now if I click on this oh, it's not showing something to get screwed up um, I'll just do this and, and see if it works yeah that seems to work so you're right now you're hiding everything and then you're grabbing the one at a particular location in the array and then you're just showing that div item so based on what item you click because if you look back at our code we have one, two, three, zero, one, two for an ID number in the unordered list. And then in my divs, I have zero, one, two. So whatever one I click on, it corresponds to that div item. Um, that's really how simple jQuery is and getting something like the, the tab set up is pretty simple. Um, I have done a couple things with uh, the jQuery UI, which you can get like sliders and all that stuff. And if I wanted to actually make it slide up and slide down, um, I could do that. Maybe I'll do that in another tutorial. But that is jQuery in a nutshell. Um, hopefully you enjoyed the video, and hopefully it was informative and not as all over the place as my other videos have been. I don't know why they've been all, all like that, but um, hopefully you followed along, and, and you can use this on your website. Take care.